And that was the name of his video content was Shadow Time. My wife calls it the dance song, which I don't really think. So I think like right now, how about, yeah, if you want to dance, you're welcome to come down and hang out. <laughs> Please do. But if anybody has a name, I'm taking suggestions right now. Wait, let me get in my hip hop stance so you guys feel more comfortable. See this? American pride right here. You have no idea how many Budweiser's that is. Anyway, yeah, feel free to come down and hang out if you want to. For now, it's called the dance song. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Sim. Place is beautiful. Hope you enjoy. Hell of shit coming up. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start the second half but uh, with uh, Jessica Riley and Alex Novitz, but I just want to ask you again to please turn off your phones, especially the Bluetooth, because it could um, mess things up. Okay. Feels very formal. Like, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, 
So uh, it's um, I'm actually very excited to play in Amsterdam. I never played here before. Um, I came to Holland, uh, but it was uh, six, I think six years ago. <clears throat> so it was a long time ago. And um, I think now this trip, I have a better uh, understanding of, well, I mean, Amsterdam probably is not very typical Dutch because there's so many um, tourists around, you know, like me. Uh, but I, I think I have maybe a slightly better handle on uh, the culture. So hopefully um, I won't be as confusing to people as I have been in the past. <laughs> Uh, and I just had some, and I, you know, I probably shouldn't bring it up, but I just had some, these like weird experiences, you know? And, uh, so one of the shows that I did in Holland previously, um, after the show, somebody told me, oh, well, there's this real tradition in, in, uh, Holland of this kind of, uh, maybe I'm misquoting the person, but I, I think he said it was sort of like a uh, musical comedy or something. So you would like play songs and then tell jokes or something and then kind of mix it up. And. I don't know if you thought that was what I was trying to do, uh, <laughs> but because um, that, that wasn't really my intention at the time. Um, but so I, I thought, okay, well, that's maybe that's uh, cool. And actually, when um, at the symposium yesterday, I saw some slides of uh, some of Michelle Weishwitz's, uh early performances, like especially the one where he was wearing those crazy uh, big pants, you know, where the legs were like a foot wide and they're covering his shoes. And then there's someone in a leotard doing a handstand on the piano behind him, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, that I, I can kind of understand. It's like some kind of, you know, Dadaist uh, cabaret or something. Um, but then I had this other uh, experience. Uh, I, I forget. It was this gallery called uh, Local Nolan. I forget um, where it was. And um, the curator was really disappointed. And after my set, he said, I thought it was going to be crazy electronics, you know, with this big gesture. And then he said, but it was singer songwriter. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I had some songs. Like I was just trying to play some songs. I won't be playing any songs tonight. So tonight, um, you, it will be more probably what he wanted to see, uh, back then. So unfortunately I don't think he's here. Um, <laughs> that's just how life goes, you know, sometimes. Um, <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. Um, I, the reason I have to talk before I play is I get very nervous. It's better just to be upfront about it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but we'll, um, uh, you know, it's funny because there's uh, different things you get nervous about. And I was just talking with uh, Taku um, before uh, everyone came back in. And I said, you know, uh, there's certain things that I don't get nervous about, like job interviews. No, no stress at all. It's like totally fine. You know, I could just go in and talk to them because honestly with these jobs, I don't care if I get them or not. And, and <laughs> well, the thing is though, but when you have that attitude, it helps out because they're like, Oh, this person might be, you know, maybe we really need them here. Cause like, I just, I play it cool or whatever, but, and I don't even do it on purpose. Like I just, I, I don't worry about it, you know? And like going on dates, a lot of people get stressed out about, and that's a little bit, I get nervous, you know? And, uh, usually with public speaking, like right now, actually, I don't feel nervous. Um, if, as long as I just keep talking, I'll be fine. And <laughs> which I know will bore everyone. So I, I won't do it forever. But so, you know, when I had to do presentations at school, you know, um, I had no problem. And, you know, if I was in a group, uh, if there was like a group project, I would always be the one to present it. Cause it's, you know, easy. And I just show the slides and talk about some stuff. But um, a year ago, I did my first um, scientific presentation at a physics conference, and I, you know, and I knew the material cold. I mean, I, I knew every equation on my slides just from memory, and I could explain everything. You know, I, I definitely knew what I was doing. But I went up and I showed my slide, and I took the laser pointer, it, this green laser pointer, and my hand is going like this. <laughs> it was amazing. And the point, you know, is moving like up and down a foot, and I'm just sort of like, okay, I'm in the vicinity of this equation, and I was so. I, I, I didn't understand it because it was a physical thing that happened, you know, and it, it mentally, I didn't even really feel very nervous. I mean, I, I really knew what I was going to do, but, and then I started to smell, you know, I started to sweat and it was really embarrassing. And I just thought, God, what do I do? So the next time, if that happens, I'll just make a joke and I'll say, oh, I guess I must've drank too much coffee this morning, you know, and just play it off. Cause that way, at least I can, you know, um, but that was an unexpected experience. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs>
Okay, well. <laughs> All right, well, that, you guys make it really easy then. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay.
som får dig att känna att du aldrig kommer att bli som du är. Och vad du är ägnad eller vad förutom mig själv som förbinder mig med världen. Mon heritage är l'énigme qui me fait ressentir que jamais je ne saurai qui je suis, pourquoi je suis, ni ce qui pourrait me relier au monde en dehors de moi. Mein Erbe ist das Rätsel, dass ich niemals wissen werde, wer ich bin, wozu ich bin, noch was ich mit der Welt außerhalb meiner selbst verbinden könnte.
This piece was called Minotaurus. And the next piece is called The Shells. And it is dedicated to a brand new instrument, which are called at the moment as the title of the piece. And all I want to say at this stage and at this point, it's the premiere of the instrument in Holland. So have fun. <laughs> 